Here I have set up a simple background, some bananas, and a little character, and the character moves around with the left, right, up, and down keys. Uh, but in most side-scrolling games, uh, your character actually doesn't move very much, and what moves is the background in relation to the character. So I have another video up that explains all of this, which is your sprite moving based on the keys. And what I want to do in this one is show you how to scroll the background instead. So the first thing I need to do is set up a back, an appropriate background for them to walk around on, because it wouldn't make a lot of sense for the couch to be moving. Uh, so I've drawn this one, and I've just made, this is pretty basic here, I've just made a little house, uh, a store, uh, maybe a town, an armory, and I can't remember what the W was, maybe the woods or something. And uh, actually, let's move around on the couch, and then we'll switch it up. So this is what I've got. He's still moving around. I already showed you that. But what I want to do is instead of moving the person whenever I hit the right key, I want to move the background instead. And I've named my background BG. So for right, I'm going to put BG equals BG. And for left, I'm going to put BG, BG. And we'll mess with up and down in a minute. All right, so I'm going to press the right key. And I want you to watch what happens. So notice the couch is moving right when I push right, and the couch is moving left when I push left. Well, that doesn't, uh, it makes it look like the couch is now my character and not the person. So that's not exactly what I want. So in order to simulate the movement of the little character, what I want to do is I'm going to switch to text mode here, and for this right and left, I'm going to reverse the direction. So I'm going to make, when I press right, the background's going to move left, so that's a minus. When I press left, the background is going to move right, so that's a plus. So all I've done is just inverted the plus and minus thing. And now let's reset. And when I press the right key, it looks as though the little guy is moving to the right in the room. And when I press the left key, it looks as though he's moving left in the room, like he's walking by the couch. Now let's go ahead and do the up and the down. I'm just switching all these to BG, first of all, so that the background will move up and down. And then I want to invert their sign right here. So I'm going to make the up one turn into a plus, and the down one turn into a minus, and I'll switch back to blocks. Pause there if you need to. And now when I move down, it looks like he's going under the couch. When I move up, it looks like he's going over the couch. Now with a, with a couch like this, it doesn't really... The left and right looks like it makes sense to our eye. Ooh, that was kind of weird. Uh, but the up and down doesn't make a lot of sense. So what I want to do now is switch to this other animation instead of the couch. So you're simulating sort of a top-down view of a game. And I didn't even give that one a name, so it's just called Animation 1. So now uh, I start in the center, and I can move up to the town, down. You notice it's doing some weird things because my background is too small. So I'm going to scale it up to uh, maybe 10. It'll make it blurry, but you'll get the right idea. Okay, so now I'm at home. And uh, I'm going to move over here. Notice the bananas are stuck. We're going to fix them next. And I remember I put everything up in the corner. So now I can go up to the store, and I can walk home. Notice my characters kind of stay in put. The background is moving to give the illusion that I'm walking around on a larger map. It's kind of like a, a board game and you're moving the pieces and the board stays still. That's the what it's supposed to look like, but really the board is moving and your character is staying still. Okay, so now to deal with these bananas. If you're making a game, uh, it's not just going to be uh, the background that needs to move around, but also every other element on the screen. So if there are things to collect, if there are enemies to fight, they all have to move relative to. If your character is going to stay in the center of the screen, everything else needs to move relative to it, not just the background. So I need these bananas. When I push down, I need them to move further away from me. So they need to follow the background up. Right. So the, the easiest way to do that is inside all these four ifs. Uh, I'm just going to highlight. We'll do left and right first. I'm just going to highlight this text that moves the background in the opposite direction. Control-C to copy, uh, Control-V to paste, and I'm going to uh, 
I called my banana as bananas. Brilliant. Uh, so I'll just change this to bananas. And I'm going to do the same thing with left. Control C, Control V to copy and paste. Okay, so now when I move to the right, I'm moving away from the bananas. And even though I can't see them, they'll stay where they need to be relative to the house and relative to me. But notice I still haven't done up and down, so that part's not working yet. It's going to be the same trick again, two more times. Copy and paste that one. And one more time. Okay, so now if I move up, the bananas follow. And I can go completely off the screen, and I can come back, and the bananas are still where I expect them to be. I can go off this way, and the bananas stay there as well. So that's how you make your background scroll and keep your character in the center of the screen.